Hi, my name's Tracy and I'm a mortician. And I'm Trish and I'm not. And welcome back to another episode of... Are you dying to know? Because Trish is dying to know. I'm dying to know. Hello. How uh, are you all? Hi. Hope I'm you are well. Just adjusting my bum. Just adjust your bum. Yeah. Hello. I have an Italian friend who oh. English is a second language. She's been in the country here for about... I don't know now, about 12 years, 15 years or whatever. I know her. She's beautiful. And she always beautiful thinks friend. that it's not bum. She says bump. Bump. I like it. <laughs> or your bump. bump. <laughs> I like it. Uh, I got two bumps. Oh, uh, yeah, me too. <laughs> many bumps. I've got many bumps. But I... <laughs> anyway. Yeah. You've got many bumps. We, he's, got, oh, he's got no bumps. You're so cruel to Calvin. He's got no skin, Tracy. He's got no muscle. Well, oh. I'm sorry, Cal. I'm sorry, I'm sorry Cal. on her behalf. Gosh. Sorry. Uh, anyway, we've anyway. got a question. We have. Yes, I've forgotten the person's name. Uh, uh, the fan, fan girl, girl from hell. The f- yeah. The. The. The, the fan girl from hell. Uh, we hope you're not. We hope you're not. <laughs> Especially yeah. now that we're having a meet and greet. We don't want any fan people from hell. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, if you want to come to Melbourne, we're going to be there very soon. Yep. Meet and greet. Check out our Instagram. Yes, check it out. You never know. We might have a free something here and there to give away. Will we? We might. We might not. We'll okay. decide later on. Oh, okay. <laughs> that means you haven't organised it yet. Yeah, I haven't organised it <laughs> yeah. Yes. But anyway, the fangirl from hell wanted to know about liver mortis. So yes. the fangirl from hell was in a... She was in an anatomy class. A forensic anatomy, something like that. Yeah. Um, and, and they were shown a cadaver, mm-hmm. a dead person who had liver mortis. And the person yeah. who was giving the class said that it was permanent yeah. and that it could be repaired removed. or removed. Yeah, yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. So the fangirl from hell wanted to know if that's the case because... Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Okay, so we best go back and first of all tell everyone what liver mortis is. Okay, so um, liver mortis is um, basically it's staining of the body and it's sometimes called a mortuary stain as well so when you die and you pass away and you lying on your back i keep um or on your side as trish is demonstrating all your fluid and blood will pool to the lowest point of your body once you've died because your heart's not working there's no blood going through the circulation system no no blood going anywhere it's all starting to be pulled down by gravity fluid and blood and everything is pulled to the lowest point of your body okay so in Trisha's case because her face is on the side when we get there this side is going to be bright red and purple and this side's just going to be the normal color she is and we're going to have all of this uh, lividity down this side of the body more than anywhere else because of that way and often it's on your back and you'll see the stain and that's why it's called a mortuary stain and you're asking, can it be removed with embalming? I think the question was, and the person said, it, it, it can't be. Now, it can and it can't. So. Which one is it? You decide. It depends on how long that body's been there before embalming takes place. So, liver mortis, when you first pass away, you get a really deep, deep, dark purple. Then it starts to get lighter purple and, and then into red. And, of course, these, like, um, like a really red, tomato-y, dark colour. If you embalm a body within days of um, passing away and it has that liver mortis, you can move it with embalming. And embalming uh, basically is when we're injecting embalming chemical through the cir- circulatory system and we're getting rid of the blood out of the uh, vein. So the embalming chemicals going in the arteries, the blood's coming out of the vein. And what you do when you embalm a body is you massage the body and you really massage the body with warm, soapy water. And as the uh, chemical's being pushed through the body with the embalming machine, what the mortician embalmer does is has to massage everything. And when you get them big stains, you're massaging everything to the heart. So if it's the legs and you've got lots of staining, you need to push. So, so what you're doing is helping the blood go up that way to be uh, taken out of the jugular. If it's the arms, you're pushing everything has to go towards the heart. So you're basically moving the blood out. You're moving it. Not unlike my job. 
Exactly. So, yeah, Which you could why... probably explain exactly what happens. Well, it would be an interesting, and it's not really appropriate for me to say to somebody on the massage table, I'm doing it this way because it's just like in a um, balm where yeah. we do. But, um, yeah, it is. It's the same thing, isn't it? Because when you massage, yeah. basically the pressure that you're putting on the muscle sucks in all the fluid from behind. That's right. So it flushes the muscle when you're living. Mm -hmm. And so if you've got sports injuries and that sort of thing and you massage like that, it flushes all of that um, the uh, inflammatory response out. Yeah. And, and fresh blood will come in That's behind right. and it brings the oxygen, the nutrient to the muscle and heals the muscle. But when you're deceased... We don't want any blood coming behind. No, and you're pumping in embalming chemical, yeah. which you want to go right behind. through and permeate every muscle, every tissue, right to the skin level. Right through to every mm. little cell. So by doing that, it sort of has this suction behind it where it brings that fluid through into the... Yeah outer layers of the muscle. Exactly, and it's exactly how we embalm. I finally it's... said something worthwhile. <laughs> you know, worthwhile. Imagine that, I had to wait four years <laughs> to have a suitable situation where I knew stuff. <laughs> Who'd have thunk it? Yeah, no, but mm. it's exactly the same yeah. process. Mm. That's awesome. Like, yeah, mm. it is great. I don't yeah. use soapy water though. Yeah, no, <laughs> yeah, we're, we're cleaning the body as we're doing it as well. Um, it's antibacterial soapy water that we're using. And yes, it's so we're clearing that way for the embalming fluid to come through the same as Trish says when she clears the weight for the fresh blood to come in. So the lividity is actually blood that's pooled and it's stuck that's there. That's right. And it's so stuck. you can move it on yeah, to so a you point. Can move it to a to a point so you can and you can actually sometimes especially like Trisha's face at the side really red there we've started to embalm her only days after she passed away we can actually clear that often we can clear it really good so again it's just gentle massaging it's massaging exactly the same we're pushing this down and massaging especially around the neck and behind the neck area where you've got big arteries here and the uh, veins so we're pushing that fluid out uh, through with the blood coming out so we can actually clear all this lividity so we can get that nice um, natural look again back for a viewing which is great you know because being on that side it can look quite because you've got basically bright red natural and it looks really confront and if we can't move it you can move it to a point without embalming by massaging and breaking it down a little bit and it will break down but you won't get rid of that really redness I guess the embalming. other side, if you're not embalming you can cosmetize well that's right yeah yeah but it, sometimes it's with it being so red you've got to really heavily cosmetize because you've got to tone this down with green so you've got to put a lot of green on because it's the opposite to red and then go over the top but this side can be a bit lighter so then you've got to kind of mm. blend it so you've got this a lot of makeup on so yes you can move it but then you can't and the reason you can't move it is if the body has been deceased for a long time so the stain and then stains the outer skin so hang on are we talking all right they died like this, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. They got collected straight away yeah. and put like this, which yeah. is why you're always concerned about the head, head block. Clean up, some and, drainage. Yeah. Always looking straight up because we don't want any fluid pooling onto the sides if we've got the head on the side. This is how they sit in the cold room as well with the head on a block looking straight up because we don't want any fluids going. If the head's on the side, they will get a pool of fluid and they will get all that discoloration on one side. We don't want that. We want it to go to the back of the head. So now they're in the fridge yeah. and then in a week's time you come to work on them, then it's too late or are you talking they die like this and they stay like this for a week? Um, so, yeah, the, so like you said, like good example, we found them straight away but the staining's there got them in the cold storage with the head in, that will drain a bit. That colour will naturally come out itself without any work, but not totally. What it'll do is it'll just tone down, so the heavier fluids and bloods will go back down to the lowest part of that, and we can maybe clear it with a bit so massage. So you might end up with it down the back, though. Yes, right. yes, it'll go. It will has to go somewhere. If we get you in and you've died in, in your face and we've got you in the fridge, but if I don't work on you for another week... That'll stain. Right. 
So I got to work on you straight away right. to get rid of it because if we leave in any blood there, it stains the skin and that's where you can't move liver mortis. Right. It's the longevity of it. It gets so ingrained into every part of the, the cells, you know, because it's just because our body's breaking down and as our body's breaking down, we don't have any protection from the vessels being closed because everything's breaking down and you know fluid will start leaking out so it pushes and pushes and we end up with this big stain that we can't get rid of and that rid of so it timing is the thing timing is the thing is whether you can get rid of uh, liver mortis to when you can't and then do you have to put if you are embalming and you need to get rid of it and you're massaging and doing all the things that you said do you put a colorant into your embalming fluid as well is there something you can do a lot of embalmers will put colors and tints into their uh, chemical i never do right. i never have because chemical it has a um it has a, a pinkish tint to it anyway and mm -hmm. i think it's tinted enough but a, a lot of um it depends on the chemical you use as well. So it's another ball game of what chemical. But some people will put a tint in to tint it. I tend not to like tints only because I've seen some bad cases. It goes too far, you're in yeah. trouble. And then that's it, you've stained the skin because you can't get it out because, yeah. you know, it stains the skin. So, yeah, I tend not to use it because I think it's enough with the chemical itself. Um, but, yes, a lot of embalmers will use uh, dye. But yeah, so good question. It is a great question. It is really good. So it's a timing thing. So yes, that tutor you had was correct. You can't get rid of it. Um, probably at the time you've seen the cadaver, there yeah, would be no way to get rid of it. Um, but early on, if uh, the person's not been long deceased, then yes, we can uh, clear it. And sometimes it can be just a little bit difficult out of the face, but then once you've cleared it a bit, like we've just said, it's been a day, we can cosmetize that a bit easier because it's not as dark. So it's mm. just like a, you know, a blemish, just a little rosy, you know, when we have the little rosy cheeks. So yeah, great question. Thanks for that. Thanks for your question. Yeah. That fan girl from hell. Yeah. I like your name. I do. Yes. Yes. It's a good name. So yeah, great question. Okay. Thank you. Thanks guys. Yes. Till next time. Take care. Bye. Bye. Bye.